It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl 50 rematch. It's the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos, and it comes your way next. Just across I-25 from downtown Denver, the usual 76,000 fans have made their way to Phillip and Power Field at Mile High, the home of the Broncos. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Partner, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. Out is Eddie Pinheiro to get this one started. And off we go from Denver. On the return, here comes Marvin Mims. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Broncos led by the rookie, quarterback Bo Nix. Out of Oregon, the rookie, the last of the quarterbacks taken in the first round, number 12 overall. He's been around. He's 24 years old, but the rookie runs it for the Broncos. I really like this young quarterback, Mike. I think there's a lot of things that he does very well. I mean, the arm talent, it allows you to expand the playbook, his mind. He can process information both quickly and decisively. Pocket presence, impressive as well. He rarely finds himself in situations where he's a sitting duck. Now, can he put all of that together and operate an NFL offense? That's what we want to see here today. And so far, I think he's shown a lot of hope that he can grow into a future franchise quarterback. Cortland Sutton, the intended receiver, and that will lead to a second down. Working out of the gun, it's Nix. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended Throw that ball out of harm's way. Live to play another down. In danger of an opening three and out, they face third and ten. Nix from the gun on third down. He'll get that to Javante Williams. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. The Broncos bring it out their punter. Raheem Blackshear is set to return for the Panthers. And that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The Panthers now ready to get to work on offense for the first time. They are led out by the veteran, the one they call the Red Rifle. Dating back to his old days at TCU, it's Andy Dalton. The man known around the league as the Red Rifle. And what an NFL career he's had up until this point, Mike. I mean, think back. At one point, he's the Pro Bowl quarterback routinely leading his team to the playoffs. Now, he's the experienced backup. He's bringing a lot of veteran presence to every locker room he finds himself. And one thing's for certain. When he gets a shot to play in the game, you could certainly do a lot worse than having him in your starting lineup. Here's second and nine. On the ground, this is Miles Sanders. And the defense there to meet up. They'll hold them to two and bring up third down.
Now it's Dalton. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. Now, a fair catch, and he'll take it at about the 24-yard line. The Broncos offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. First carry for the former Tar Heel, Devontae Williams. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Here comes Williams on the toss to the right. Oh, oh. And he'll wind up out of bounds past the 45-yard line. A game there of 20. Good for a Denver first down. Well, that right there, Mike, is your once-a-game reminder of just the importance of short tackling. This run never gets anywhere near where it ends up if that initial hit was stronger and he was able to take him down. They'll come up here. First and ten. From the shotgun, here's Nix. Taking off. Now, following the play, we're going to get a stoppage. There's an injured Bronco. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Throwing is Nix. He's got the tight end. That's Greg Dulcich. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. So many of these young rookie quarterbacks, they come into difficult situations. We see it year in and year out. They don't have a lot of veteran pieces around them. Maybe their weapons aren't great, but... I don't think that's the case for Bo Nix. Nix, now to throw it here on first down. He connects with Mims. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. Here's Nicks to throw. He's got the tight end, Adam Trotman. And this drive's going to continue. They bring him down, but not before he picks up first and goal for his team. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. They'll run. It's Williams. Marked down at the six. Here now, second down and goal. Throwing. Knicks. Now, he, and he's into the end zone. Bo Nix, touchdown, Denver. 
But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Will Lutz now for the PAT. He's got it. The Broncos will take a 7-0 lead. So now after the touchdown, Lutz going to send this one away. A safe kick taken at the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Panthers offense ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. First and ten. Tremble comes in motion. Dalton to throw. That's to the rookie from South Carolina, Xavier Liget. About 15 yards to kick off the drive. It's a first down. I think the defender thought he had himself a pick here, Mike. He saw that curl coming the entire way, but... Unfortunately for him, it was a curl and go. They took him deep. Leads to a huge pickup. Tremble comes in motion. To throw is Dalton. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. They just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Here's Dalton. A throw there on second down, going to be incomplete. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and... The ball falls incomplete. After back-to-back -back incompletions, they now face third down and ten. Now Dalton going for it all. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. This offense is doing everything they can to quiet this crowd. And even though they missed on that long attempt, at least it sets the tone that they're going to continue to attack. If they can come up with a completion on one of those downfield passes. It's going to go a long way to settling themselves into this game. Just what the punter's hoping to do. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. Back onto the field comes the Denver offense. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. Back to throw is Nix. Got it into the hands of Mims. And he's going to get this up to the 22-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. And he's pushing tacklers away. 
as he takes it forward for a gain of nine. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. It's another run here for Williams. And he will pick up a first down up to the 37-yard line. They'll go again with Williams. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. It'll be a run out of the gun with Williams. And a good run there on second down. A pickup of seven. It'll bring up third and three. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations. It'll get you the first down, just not here. They'll throw here on third and short yardage. He's got his man. He finds Sutton. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. They'll come to the line now on second and two. On the ground, this is Williams. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass, you can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. On first down, right back to Williams. Space to run, inside the 20. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets to the Broncos' 11-yard line. 25 yards, the pick up there. Good for a Denver first down. We had a feeling coming into the game that they were going to get this guy plenty of touches, and you can see from this early success why. The defense is going to have to make some adjustments here because they have had no answers thus far. They'll run it with Williams, and he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. They'll throw. It's Knicks. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. The veteran Jadavian Clowney still at it, and he still has it. He gets the sack. Clowney comes up with the big sack, and you can make an argument, Mike, that he's coming off his best season of his career. Nine and a half sacks just a year ago. Now he's back home in the Carolinas where he's already making his presence felt. Good drive now faces a tough conversion. It is third and long. Now Nick's going to look to throw, and that is incomplete. This pass rush is continuing to make their presence felt here in the early going, and 
for this quarterback. He's lucky to at least get rid of that ball because they were on the verge of recording their second sack, and we're still here in the first quarter. On fourth down, the veteran Will Lutz for the Broncos' field goal. He'll bang that one through. It's good. And the Broncos will extend to a 10-0 lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. So following the field goal, Lutz is back out to kick it away. Raheem Blackshear on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Panthers' offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. Get this drive started on the ground. It's Hubbard. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. A run up the middle. It's Sanders. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part. Coming through again with another big stop for a loss. Tremble comes in motion. On third down, they'll set up to throw. That's caught over the middle by Johnson. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Dalton. He'll find his tight end, Tommy Tremble. Still on his feet. And he will go all the way. Tommy Tremble. Touchdown, Carolina. Using the tight end to get to the end zone. Greg, it's your old position. You're very familiar with that. That catch and carry. What an ability for your tight end to take it to the house. Yeah, and this was never really the strength of my game, Mike, but we're seeing so many tight ends around the league who not only are great at securing the catch and making the tough ones, but it's their ability to extend the play after the catch that's separating them, just like we saw here. On now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Panthers are on the board. It's 10-7. So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. On the return, here's Mims. Now an opening past the 30. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Javante Williams heading out with the Broncos for their next drive. And he has made his presence felt in the ground game already in this first quarter. And they might very well lean on him the next three quarters, too. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. 
play action now. It's Nix. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. Now, a second down throw for Nix. That's caught on the right side by Sutton. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. To throw is Nix. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. And that's exactly how you teach it. They want these defenders to time the hit that right when the ball gets there, you separate the receiver from the ball. And those are the ones on offense, man. You just have to make that catch, Mike. I know it's easier said than done, but you know the hit's coming. You've got to squeeze that thing, brace for impact, and make that play for your offense. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. Throwing Dalton. Throw left side, but that's going to be incomplete. Jonathan Mingo, the intended target. And it'll bring up second down. Just seems like another case of predetermining where the quarterback is going to go with the ball. He had a lot of good route options on that last concept. I think if he just remains a little bit more patient, read the play out, let it unfold, will lead to some easier and better completions. Deontay Johnson, the intended target there. And it's going to be third down. Now well, that's two straight plays now where this secondary has won their matchup. And right now the offense needs to find some plays that just call for easy completions. Get your wide receivers in space. Allow them to run after the catch. Because right now these downfield passes, the defense is all over. A gain of 11 on that one. It's good for a Panther first down. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. They'll look to throw yet again. Looking left side is tight end Tremble, and he's going to be taken down right at midfield. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Now it's Dalton. Back into the hands of Hubbard. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. Here's first and ten. They'll look to throw again. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, he's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. 
And he's all the way down to the 15-yard line. Big hole up the middle. The interior of this offensive line did a great job clearing some space. The back saw it quick, and he hit it. And next thing you know, he was in the secondary for a big pickup. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. They'll go again with Hubbard. And a strong first down run, a pickup of nine, setting up second and short. He'll drop to throw. And that will wind up incomplete. Triple zeros on the clock. The first quarter has come to an end. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. It's the Broncos with the early lead. Greg and I back in Denver in just a moment. They'll look to pick this up, third and a yard. Now they'll set up to throw. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Deontay Johnson. Touchdown, Panthers. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. Pinheiro on for the extra point. The kick is good. Panthers are on top. It's 14 to 10. So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. On the return, here's Mims. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Broncos offense and Javante Williams getting set for this next possession. They trail by four. A touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. He connects with Mims. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. That was just a race to the edge. And in this case, Mike, he just wasn't the winner. I mean, at this point, when the defense is out there waiting for you, it's tough for any runner in this league to even get back to the original line of scrimmage. They'll throw here on third and short. Here's a screen set up to Williams. That screen goes for 12, and that's a first down. 
Well, a little unconventional play call here. You don't traditionally see the screen game used on third down at these shorter down and distances. But in this case, they catch the defense off guard, they time it up well, and the back is able to convert and pick up the first down. Set to go now on first and 10. They motion the slot man left. They fake the jet sweep and give it up the middle. And this time they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big gain that carry. It's second down. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play caller. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. On first down, here's Nicks to throw. That one caught Devon Vele. And he will score. Devon Vele. Touchdown, Broncos. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos move out to a three-point edge, 17 to 14. So now after the touchdown, Lutz going to send this one away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Panthers offense and Deontay Johnson getting set to get back to work. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and 10. Mingo, the man in motion. Dalton to throw. It's caught Mingo with the ground. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half. And just seems this possession is going to be more of the same as they start this drive. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Here's Dalton. That's right side. Take it in by Tremble. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. After that last completion on the way back to the hoe, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help. Because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five.
Here now, third and five. Now Dalton. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Got to give a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go, and he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. Here's Johnny Hecker now, as they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. The rookie, Bo Nix, and the Broncos offense getting set to take over once more. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. Knicks. He's got it to the tight end, Dulcich. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Knicks now on first and ten. He finds his tight end, Dulcich. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll send a tight end in motion. Here's a handoff to Williams. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. A give, and here comes Williams. He'll be stopped after a pickup of about three. Xavier Woods there on the stop. Third down, three to go. From the shotgun, here's Nicks. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. Out of the shotgun, they give it to Williams. And he'll bring this inside the 30. A gain of about five. Off the play fake, here's Nix. He'll dump this down to the fullback coming out of the backfield. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Well, not exactly a highlight real type play, but in some cases, just checking the ball down to your fullback, picking up some positive yards is the only play that's to be made. Third and a yard. Throwing is Nix. And it looks like he's going to have the first down. The defense was right there, but a gain of two. Good enough for the first down. Really just comes down to everybody understanding the situation. You realize, how many yards do I need to get for the first down? And just make sure at least one of my receivers is past the sticks. That's where he went with the ball, and they're able to convert. Nix, now to throw it here on first down. 
That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. They've got to defend the entire playbook. And so far, they've done a great job on this drive doing just that. A pickup of 10, and it's going to set up first and goal. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. And as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. And he's in. Greg Dulcich, touchdown Denver. Lutz for the extra point. He's got it. And the Broncos go up by 10. 24 to 14 is their lead. So now after the touchdown, Lutz going to send this one away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Panthers offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. The deficit is 10, 24-14. So work to do as they come up for first and 10. The motion man is Johnson. Dalton. He'll go underneath here. The running back out of the backfield. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. This is such a challenging route for any defender to guard, Mike. And here's why. It's really a three-way go. I can either run into the flat. I can either sit and stop and just find open space. Or in this case, the defender overcommits. I could break back across his face to the middle of the field, and you're wide open. To throw is Dalton. Catch is made. That's Mingo. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. We're going to run right over center with Hubbard. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Tremble comes in motion. Throwing. Dalton. A throw left side there. Not going to find the target. Incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So... Give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. Back to the air again on second and ten. This one to the tight end, Tremble. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. 
Every quarterback's dream is, can I get the ball out of my hand as fast as possible and get it to a guy that can do the rest after the catch? And it seems like nowadays, throughout the entire league, the best offenses thrive in yards after the catch. Ball down to the 16-yard line, and it's first and 10. Mingo, the man in motion. Now it's Dalton. Quick throw, taken in. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's second and six. Slot receiver headed right. They'll look to throw again. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And this is taken in by the defense. The defense comes up with a play in the red zone. Those active hands get to the quarterback, knock it out, and they come up with the recovery. Mike, we see this from time to time down here when an offense is operating in the red zone. The field shrinks, coverage gets a little bit tighter, Quarterbacks tend to hold the ball a little too long, and that's exactly what came back to bite him right here. The Broncos offense, and they're running back, set to go once more. Their lead is 10. They go back to work, trying to add to it. It begins with first down. They'll start this on the ground. It's Williams. A gain of four as he's taken down. They run over center with Williams. Hillage forward for maybe a yard. The veteran Josie Jewell there for the stop. Here's a third down and four. Back to throw is Nix. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. Well, when you call a screen play, of course, you're looking to catch the defense off guard and pick up a chunk play. You're not thinking you're actually going to find yourself going backwards, but that's exactly the case here, and really nice job by the defense sniffing that one out. Fair catch made here, and the drive will start at the 23-yard line. The visitors' offense in their back, Chuba Hubbard, set to come back on the field. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. He'll take a shot down the middle of the field. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. A big play for the Panthers. 54 yards. So, two minutes to play in a back-and-forth first half. Greg and I return to Denver after this. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now they'll set up to throw. They'll set up the screen here to Hubbard. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down.
They'll look to throw. That is caught back corner of the end zone. Xavier Leggett, touchdown Carolina. Ah, oh, the teamwork was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender, knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch, but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. Extra point by Pinheiro is good. And the Panthers cut the lead to three. 24-21. So now to the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. On the return, here's Mims. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Broncos offense ready to get back at it. They'll begin with first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Nix. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. On second down, it's Nix. Checking it down, this one is caught. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. Now the Broncos going to use the first of their timeouts. And they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half. They'll come up to third and three. Knicks from the gun on third down. He finds Mims. It's complete. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. The throw is Nix. Got it into the hands of Mims. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Now a timeout, Denver. That's their second. As they'll stop it just a little bit over 30 seconds to go in this first half. They'll come up here first and ten. Now Nick's going to look to throw. He finds his tight end, Dulcich. And they'll take this down inside the 35. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. On first down, here's Nix to throw. He's going to keep it himself. And he'll get this forward for positive yardage as he covers up in the end. So we come to halftime here in Denver, and the Broncos are out in front as we send you to Orlando. Going to check in with the coach, Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report.
Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a terrific first half for the rookie first-round pick, Bo Nix. He threw two touchdown passes, ran for another, as his guys have the lead at halftime. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators, trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Three points, all that separates these two sides has half number two. Kicks off. He fields it at the eight. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. This drive begins with a run by Hubbard. And out of bounds he goes, just shy of midfield. Great way to start the drive. A gain of 20 and a first down. There's a combination of footwork and vision, his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Now Dalton. That into the hands of Hubbard. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Second down and eight. A give up the middle. It's Hubbard. And he'll get this ahead. Gain of about four. And it leads to third down. Here's Dalton. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. We see this week in and week out, Mike. These running backs in today's game, they really have the skill set of a wide receiver. So if you're going to guard them one on one and you know the offense is going to use him in the passing game, you better have that guy. You better have that matchup guy that you're confident to put on him and say, okay. And he's in. Jonathan Mingo. Touchdown, Panthers. Well, it seems this game is kind of getting to the point, Mike, where it's defense optional. I mean, both these teams are really just having their way with their opponent. They're going up and down the field. And after this long touchdown, Yes, this is great if you're a fantasy player, but it's not so great if you're a defensive coordinator. Now, Pinheiro to add on the extra point. The kick is good. And the Panthers have taken a four-point advantage.
So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. On the return, here's Mims. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Throwing. Knicks. Here's a screen set up to Williams. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. Here's the give up the middle with Williams. And he'll get forward for about a yard. The veteran Josie Jewell there for the stop. From the shotgun, here's Nix. And he's going to be out of bounds after a pickup of about four, but that is enough to keep the drive alive. First down. Mike, did you see how hyped the sideline got after that run after catch? I, mean, I thought the bench was going to run out onto the field to celebrate. He refused to go down on first contact and second contact, for that matter. Nix now on first and ten. There's that man again. Another catch. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. They'll throw. It's Nix. He'll take a shot with Mims. That one knocked away. It is incomplete. Very good job defensively. Stayed right with him. And will bring up third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And that'll move the sticks. That's a first down. Down to the 45-yard line. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike, but good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward, and it would be enough to pick up the first down. First and 10. Here's Nick's to throw. That's caught on the right side by Sutton. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. They'll go with Williams. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. It's another run here for Williams. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. The veteran Josie Jewell there for the stop. Look him up on a second down and eight. Slot man in motion left. And this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Well, 
They need to get to the 22, but now face third down. Throwing is Nix. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. We're starting to see a lot of this on third down, Mike, where they're going to rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. And in this case, it falls incomplete, brings up fourth down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Broncos cut the deficit down to one. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. So following the field goal, Lutz is back out to kick it away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The visitors' offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. to throw is Dalton open man is Johnson he's got him they'll mark him down up at the 44 yard line well any fear they might have had that they'd come out of the halftime break flat has completely gone out the window they're not content Mike here just having the lead they're looking to extend it a couple more plays like that they're going to find themselves in scoring territory here very quickly Throwing, Dalton. Catch is made, that's Mingo. Number 15 gets 15 yards out of that one. And he's got his team a first down. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. Change the look pre-snap to post-snap. Mix in zone, mix in man. they got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward. Here's a handoff to Hubbard. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Now it's Dalton. Short one there, caught by Tremble. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Mingo, the man in motion. Dalton. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Well, that tip ball, I think, just saved a huge play because this offense found something. They had an open target with a lot of room to run. And unfortunately for them, the defender gets his hand on the ball, and that went away pretty quick. On second down, a run with Hubbard. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. Dalton to throw. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. After that incomplete pass, we have a player shaken up. 
So as they look at the injured player, we'll take a timeout. Here's Eddie Pinheiro now as the Panthers will try the field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Pinheiro's kick is good. And the Panthers will extend their third-quarter lead. So anytime an offense comes off the field after settling for three, you always have to take the good with the bad. In order to get down there in field goal range, you had to do something positive to move the ball. But at the same time, how are we going to be able to finish these drives and convert for six the next time we get down there? So Pinheiro had the field goal a moment ago. Now he's back out to kick it away. Here's Traymon Smith on the return. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Broncos offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And you have to imagine the defense is saying, how do we stop this guy? He has run roughshod through him to this point in the third quarter. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Drive begins with a run by Williams. And he'll get up beyond the 40 to the 41-yard line. The veteran Josie Jewell there for the stop. Second down, Nix. He connects with Mims. He's to the 15, and he will score. Marvin Mims, touchdown Broncos. A terrific job all the way around, especially after the catch, Greg, to take it to the end zone for a touchdown. I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver, Mike. He catches what is a short pass, and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six. That is an impressive play, run after catch. Here's Lutz now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Broncos go up by a field goal as they lead it by three. So now after the touchdown, Lutz going to send this one away. This taken at the five. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The Panthers offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. On first down, it is Hubbard. And he'll get about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Mingo, the man in motion. 
And out of the gun, he'll throw. It's caught Mingo with the grab. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. Tremble comes in motion. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. That one complete to Johnson. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. On the ground, this is Hubbard. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. And with that run, this back is closing in on almost 100 yards for the game today, Mike. He's had a lot of those good chunk plays. This defense has not had a great answer for him so far. Set to go now on first and ten. He'll drop to throw. That is caught at the three. And he's going to be taken down. Anytime you're facing a zone defense, you're working from your first progression all the way through. But when guys are open in this level, Mike, they don't stay open very long. So what they taught us as receivers, if you're open, stay open. And if you're not open, you better get open quick because that ball is coming out. That is caught. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. He'll look to throw. That one taken in. Deontay Johnson. Touchdown, Carolina. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. And he continues to remain on fire. That is a rare NFL day. Five touchdown passes thrown. And, Mike, at this point, the defense just looks completely lost out there. I mean, they have no answers whatsoever, giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ballgame. Pinheiro on for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Panthers have taken a four-point advantage. So now, after the touchdown, Pinheiro out to kick it away. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. They'll do so with first and 10. Williams gets it on the draw. And he'll take this to about the 28. Xavier Woods there on the stop.
We'll go play action with Nix. Dulcich open. Downfield. It's complete. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. The first round pick looking right at home in this offense. It's a first down. We spent so much time talking about arm strength, and while that certainly has a place in the conversation, look at the touch of this ball, Mike. It's a deep corner out. This ball needs to have the right pace, the right trajectory to not only get it over the second-level defenders, but get that ball down into the hands of his target. He makes it look a lot easier than it actually is. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Now, a second down throw for Nix. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Well, the run after catch is certainly nice, and they're definitely going to take it. But watch the savviness of the route running. Certain guys just have a better feel for running these slant routes than others, and it's a nice result. Play action now. It's Nix. Carrying that ball loosely, and it is out. And fortunately, this is going to get out of bounds, so possession does not change hands. A sigh of relief there. That was very nearly a turnover. Fortunate to see that one, Greg, get fumbled out of bounds. And when that ball came loose, Mike, you could see the entire sideline kind of holds their breath. But they were able to take a little bit of an exhale as they saw that ball, fortunately for them, go out of bounds. He'll get about six before he's taken down. Been a good drive, but they need to convert here on third and five. Nix from the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively it'll set up a fourth down sometimes it's those footsteps I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at and that defenders bearing down you really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch and in this case what guys are unwilling so it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. So following the field goal, Lutz is back out to kick it away. They're trying to pin him deep. They'll take this from the three. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And you get a look at the numbers, they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. From the 25, they'll go to work, first and 10. Tremble comes in motion. Get this drive started on the ground, it's Hubbard. He'll work his way forward for about three yards. The linebacker, Cody Barton, in on the tackle. They face second down and seven. Now Dalton. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short.
So back and forth they go as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This crowd into it now as we get to third down. They're trying to burn some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he needs to get to the 35. I don't think he got there. The defense thinks he's short, and he is. It'll bring up fourth down. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. On now is the punt team for the Panthers. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. A fair catch taken, and they're going to start right at their own 20-yard line. Back onto the field comes the Denver offense. The deficit is won, as they'll search now for that go-ahead score. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll stick to the ground. On second down, it's Knicks. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbounds. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds. But instead, the quarterback is on time and accurate. And the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. He finds Mims. It's complete. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll run here. Give them 10 more on that one. Just enough for another first down. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. On first down, here's Nix to throw. That's caught on the right side by Sutton. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. As this game continues to come down to the wire, Mike, it just reminds us, this is where quarterbacks earn their keep. You are judged by how you play in these critical moments. In fourth quarter, down a score, it doesn't get much bigger than this. They'll keep it on the ground. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no gain. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Knicks. There's that man again. Another catch. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. From the shotgun, here's Nix. 
and he's not going to get away. They track him down. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection, how can we get extra bodies and extra attention, because we still got a long way to go in this one. Here comes Will Lutz in a big spot. This to take the lead here in the fourth. This one has plenty of legs. And it is good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And this has been such a tight game, but that's a big one right there. I mean, you need a kicker with confidence. Well, this guy, he fits the bill. He steps up and knocks it through to give his guys a lead here in the fourth quarter. So, after the field goal to take the lead, kicker is back out there to send this one away. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes generally one step ahead of the defense all game long here's first and ten Dalton working from the pistol oh he gets that downfield to tremble the tight end and out of bounds he goes just shy of midfield that's a gain of 21 to open this drive. Mike, I can't tell you how many corner routes I caught throughout my career, and there's really an art to it. At the top of the break, you have to give the quarterback what they call an indicator step. That's your cut where you set your angle, and then once that ball's out, go chase it down, and in this case, he's able to pick up the first down. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. A good spot here, second and a yard. He'll run. And he will have the first down. Not a huge run, but enough to move the chains. Now it's Dalton. And open downfield, it's Johnson. A pickup there of 19 yards. It's a Carolina first down. This is just like recess, just playing one on one football and saying, all right, I'm throwing you the ball. You got to go get open. This is a great job by the receiver selling it at the top of his route. The defender thought he was defending a deep ball. He sticks his foot in the ground and comes back. Well-timed, well-executed, and a nice pickup. Dalton to throw. That one complete to Lee Get. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to, what they call, punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. Big play coming up. This is third down. To throw is Dalton. 
And on third down, that ball incomplete. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And they take the lead here in the fourth quarter. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think obviously you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. So, after the field goal to take the lead, Kicker is back out there to send this one away. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. Javante Williams heading out with the Broncos for their next drive. They'll start out first down and 10. Here's Nicks to throw. Got a man over the middle. There's Sutton. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. And a good run there. Finds the lane. Gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. He'll try to run for it with Williams. Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find it. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Now a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The Panthers' offense, and Xavier Leggett Headed back onto the field. This will begin at their own 13-yard line. So work to do starting with this first and 10. On the give, it's Hubbard. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. Here's Dalton. A short one there, caught by Tremble. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. Mingo, the man in motion. Dalton. 
Looking left side is tight end Tremble. And he's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. On the give, it's Hubbard. And he's going to get it. First down, taking this one up past the 40-yard line. The motion man is Sanders. On first down, it's right back to Hubbard. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Throwing, Dalton. And good work there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. As this clock continues to tick, we're getting dangerously close here to do-or-die territory. But after that third down sack, real good chance of getting off the field. No points allowed. Let's we'll see if their offense now can do their job, because defense certainly did theirs. Hunting time for the Panthers, set to kick this one away. As he's on for the fifth time this afternoon. Now, fair catch is made, and it's just inside the 15-yard line. The Broncos offense getting set to get back to work. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Throwing is Nix. He'll find his tight end. That's Troutman. A tight end in motion now. On the carry, it's Williams. And he'll take this one forward for about three, and that's a first down. Back to throw is Nix. He's got it to the tight end, Dulcich. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Play action now. It's Nix. That is... Brought in downfield by Sutton. It's a big play when they needed it the most. And even 30 yards. Big time play there as they try to cut into this fourth quarter deficit. At this point in the game, Mike, remember, you're just going to get a couple more possessions. So you have to make the most of them, especially with the lead being this close for the taking. First and 10 now 
from the 36. Now Nick's going to look to throw. He goes right back to Sutton. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Oh, the blitz gets there quickly, and down he goes pretty evident that the defense is just giving no time a day to any run actions they are playing pass all the way and he can continue to give as many play action fakes as he wants it hasn't affected anybody and in this case it results in a sack here comes second down they'll throw it's Knicks he connects with Mims. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment, they come to the line for this one. Third down, needing three. On the ground, Williams. Well, that third down stop sets up a big conversation on this sideline of the offense, Mike. You find yourself in fourth and short, but you're trailing. I think at this stage here in the fourth quarter, I got to send my kicking unit on, take the lead, and hopefully my defense can continue to get stops to pull this game out. Here comes Will Lutz in a big spot. This to grab a late lead. This kick is good. They move out front and take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So, after the field goal to take the lead, kicker is back out there to send this one away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. They trail by two, and we'll start this drive with first and ten. They'll drop to throw. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. The Panthers will take their first timeout, and they'll get together prior to the second down play. Now Dalton. Uh, trying to set up the screen, but he just had a spike that one. This will be incomplete. The game is there for the taking. They control their own destiny, but this brings up a really big third down here. But remember, they don't have to force it and push the ball past the sticks. Even if they come up short, they still have fourth down in their back pocket to try to extend this drive and see if they can pull out the win here late. To set up the screen here to Hubbard. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. And after that completion, they don't have enough to move the chain. So it's all going to come down to this. If they want any opportunity to go down and kick themselves a field goal, they've got to convert here on this fourth down. They need their best play. And he's going to go down. The pressure once again too much. And that should wrap this one up. And that stop right there will do it. 
Even though they have two timeouts remaining, there's just not enough time on the clock to get another attempt. What a huge stop with the game on the line. And that will all but end this game. The Broncos offense and receiver Cortland Sutton ready to get going again. They've got the lead, and they'll set forth trying to build on it. And they're going to do that with excellent field position. So they come to the line for first down and 10. One final kneel down here inside the 40-second mark. Should be enough to put this one on ice. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Down to a knee one more time. And that should just about do it. The Panthers, they're going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in this one. The last two runs each lost a yard. Now they're looking at a third and 12. So Mile High salutes all around. It's a win for the Broncos. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Broncos are winners. As we say, so long from Denver.